Welcome to JC Stocks and Markets Podcast for February 25th, 2024. I'm JC, been investing in the stock market for 40 plus years. My intentions with the podcast are to share my thoughts and opinions on some stock and ETF picks with an emphasis on dividend paying securities. I just want to share investment ideas so that you and I can maybe make a buck. I'm not doing this for any for money from anyone. The opinions shared here are my own, and they are just that opinions. I invest in many of the stocks and ETFs that are featured in these podcasts, including the one today. Um, disclaimer, do your due diligence before investing in anything. With that, let's go make some money. The stock I'm going to talk about today is a real common one, probably in your life. It's a 3M Corporation. It's a Dow component. MMM is the symbol on the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, 3M has been around since uh, early 1900s, and boy, they they are uh, they have all sorts of brands which I'm going to throw up here in a minute that you probably recognize. But they're into all sorts of different things: automotive, commercial, consumer, design, design and construction, electronics, energy, government, healthcare, manufacturing, safety, and transportation. They have their hands in quite a bit of stuff. They're a 50 billion dollar market cap, cap company. And I'll show you that a little later as well. Some of the common brands that you might be familiar with: Ace, Command, uh, you know the stick, the the stick, uh, the wall stick, Post-it, Scotch, Scotch Bright, Scotch Guard. They're into all sorts of uh, consumer goods. Just wanted to show that for a second here. These are multi-billion-dollar brands, by the way. Um, a company like this has this many multi-billion-dollar brands. It's pretty special. These are not going away anytime soon. Now to the stock, uh, 3M, uh, like I said, a $50 billion, $51 billion corporation. The reason I like it, there's two reasons. One, the major lawsuits, of the one for the hearing protection, I believe has been settled and gone away, so they know how much they're going to pay on that one, and they've taken a charge for that, and the stock has taken a huge hit from that. As you can see, it's gone from no, about $200 per share in 2021 to under 100 now, and uh, I bought in about 92. I swapped out my uh, my Entergy uh, stock uh, that I had and bought 3M. And here's the reason: two reasons. I think there's a lot of alpha upside now that the lawsuits are are settled, or at least the big one is. And then the forward yield, six and a half percent. I mean, you're grabbing six and a half percent on a stock that's you know, a Dow component has brands that are never going away. And the increase in dividends have occurred for over 60 years. This is a, a dividend king and will probably continue to be so. I don't believe there's a, a dividend cut coming soon. And I'll, sh- I'll show you why later. Here's the why. Um, the stock dividends right now uh, accrue to about $6 per share per year. And again, it's over six and a half percent. This year looks like uh, you're looking at the earnings of over eight dollars, almost nine dollars. And next year, nine and a half dollars. 3M is the kind of company too that they sandbag on their earnings too. So expect them to beat. They they tend to beat their earnings expectations consistently. And right now, it's at about ten and a half PE with 150 percent dividend dividend coverage. Right now, the same PE uh, basically gets you a $100 price target. And I think for long-term investors, it goes much higher than that. This company is, is going nowhere. And, uh, and I mean nowhere, meaning that the brands are not going to be challenged. They are solid, and they're going to be churning cash for a long time. Lastly, I want to throw out a chart uh, of the 3M. This is a two-year chart, and this chart is admittedly horrid. But I think with the uh, again with the lawsuits that are that are uh, closed now, <clears throat> looks like it's oversold even in this market. I think the next run up, you're going to see this thing go up to 100, maybe beyond. And I think there's a higher expectation, or from my standpoint, I think it's going to go higher for much longer. Uh, you know, they're going to be churning cash. Their, their dividends are increasing, their earnings per share are increasing, their revenues are increasing relatively smoothly, you know, 3% a year. 
Uh, and it may go increase beyond that. So I think 3M's a pretty good company. I bought a decent position this week. Like I said, I sold off Entergy and bought and swapped it out for 3M because I like the dividend and I like the chance for uh, some big alpha. Anyway, this is just some food for thought. Take a look at it if you uh, feel you're interested in it. Hopefully, uh, you know, it'll it'll ring true for you, or maybe not. You know, that's fine. That's your decision. Do your due diligence. Thank you for listening. The intro and outro song are from a band I used to play in called Just One Goat. The song's called She's the One. has lots of meaning. Thank you for listening to JC Stocks and Markets Podcast, and we'll see you next time. Happy investing. I'm not that beautiful. Loving purely physical, but I never have to roam. Well, she's always there for me. It's simple, can't you see? She's the one. Oh, she's the one. Everything is magical, even when she's not around. No, it's not that radical. There for me It's simple, can't you see She's the one Oh, she's the one She's making my life So much stronger God, let me stay just a little bit longer She's the one Yeah, she's the one All this time, she's the one. Oh, she's the